How many times have you had to rework a mold due to parts failing quality assurance? Utilizing SOLIDWORKS solutions and 3D printing, we will demonstrate how to prevent this by inspecting our designs before the first mold is even created. Let's get started. I have designed a thermostat casing that will house an internal circuit board, and later this casing will be injection molded. To ensure the part stays within tolerance, I will create a first article inspection report using SOLIDWORKS's inspection add-in. This tool allows me to reference 3D product manufacturing information, or PMI, that I have placed on my model to generate a report. I can do all of this while remaining in the familiar SOLIDWORKS interface, and any design change made down the road can easily be applied to the report. Now that I have my first article inspection report created, I want to create a prototype that I can test before spending time and money making a mold. Let's see if Arvin, our resident simulation and 3D printing engineer, has a solution for me. To ensure the manufactured part conforms to our design requirements and looks aesthetically pleasing, we use SOLIDWORKS plastics to simulate the injection molding process. We can test different gate locations, find out manufacturing defects like short shots, wear lines, and air traps. Warpage is inevitable in any injection molded part, and we can run a warpage analysis to find out how much this part deforms. After multiple iterations, we have a gate location and are happy with the fill pattern and subsequent machine settings. But how do we know if this will pass our first article inspection report? SOLIDWORKS Plastics enables us to export the warped, deformed shape into an SDL file. We can 3D print this file to get a physical prototype for Alex to test before the first mold is created. Now that I have a 3D print of my warp shape, I can go ahead and test it against my first article inspection report. If it passes, I can then create my first mold with greater confidence. Knowing that warpage in our part is inevitable in any injection molding process, we performed an analysis to simulate this deformed state. We took our design and tested it inside of SOLIDWORKS to finalize those injection molding parameters. Next, we 3D printed the deformed shape and tested it against Alex's first article inspection report. With 3D printing and SOLIDWORKS's integrated solutions, we can test our designs before we create the first mold, greatly reducing our time to market. Contact Go Engineer to talk with an expert about how to incorporate these solutions in your design process. Thank you.